Any given month, we'll spend about a million dollars with Facebook ads, specifically for Shopify stores for our clients at our advertising agency. And over the last four years, I've tried dozens of different ways to scale Facebook ads. And the way I'll show you today is the way that we've been stuck with for the last two years. And I say that from the perspective of this is the thing that allowed us to have the most consistent results and the best scalability with all of our clients. So without further ado, let's dive into it. So I got this little flow chart to show you guys today exactly what we go through, more of those mental thought processes when we're scaling Facebook ads for Shopify stores. So first thing we always look at is yesterday in CCPA. Now, I personally use Triple Well for this. And if you just look at yesterday's data, you can see NCCPA for this particular account is $36. Now, every account will be different in terms of the NCCPA that you need to hit. And I have a full video over here if you want to check it out, how to calculate target CPA. It's a 2023 version, but it's, it's identical to what we still do to the day. And this will go over exactly what NCCPA you need to hit. Um, and I personally use Tripwell to see that number. It just makes things so easy and so quick to immediately see that number. If you find another way with Shopify, let me know. But personally, I don't know of any other ways besides Tripwell. NCCPA, just to clarify, this is new customer cost per acquisition. I don't want to look at CPA in general because CPA in general takes in account for returning customers and new customers. I want to look at specifically just new customers because that's what Facebook ads are for. That's my acquisition source of new customers and my goal is to acquire more new customers every month. And then I'm more profitable overall as well with retention of existing customers. So did we hit our target? That's the first question. And I just simply look at yesterday, literally just going triple well, yesterday, NCCPA, $36. Cool. Did we hit that target? So let's just say we did hit the target yesterday. Then all I'll do is increase spend by 20%. Yes, increase spend by 20%. And all I'll do is go in Facebook. Um, I'll look at yesterday's data and then I'll, you know, we do CBO, 90% of our accounts have one campaign in it. There will be some accounts where you have multiple campaigns. If like we have like, for example, a women's line or a men's line, or we might have multiple campaigns because we're selling in different countries. But 90% of our accounts have one campaign. I do CBO and that's where I do all of my testing and scaling inside of there. I just drop all my new ads in there. If they work cool, I just increase the budget on the top level right here. So I'll just click on the edit budget. I'll do 2534 because that's what we were at. I'll multiply it by 1.2, that's 20%, and I'll get 30 or $3,040 and boom, and that's it. And I'll literally just increase that budget and then basically I'll complete that SOP and then tomorrow I'll go back and look at this again. Now, let's say we're not in a perfect world and we didn't hit our target. So the next question I like to ask myself is, have we waited for three days for it to be hit? So maybe we look at it, okay, cool. Hey, we didn't hit the target yesterday. So then what I like to do is I like to wait about three days before we do anything else. Why? Because it gives time for Facebook to optimize. Maybe we do a budget increase, performance gets worse. I give it a few days to optimize. All right, maybe it's just a macro more like cycle where you know maybe it was like a holiday that day and people just weren't on their phones that day and loves less purchases on facebook cool then like that's why i like to wait a few days for things to stabilize out and just hold up that new budget now if we waited for three days to be hit and let's say for example we didn't wait the full three days maybe we're only at 48 hours instead of the 72 hours we need to wait cool wait another 24 hours scaling sop complete come back tomorrow now Let's say tomorrow we look at it yesterday, didn't hit it, and we did wait the full three days. So yes. Now here's where it comes down to a couple things. So let's say we waited our three days and we're still not hitting our target CPA. Now this is where I would say a little bit of emotion comes into play, but just to clearly define this, I like to ask myself the question, are we losing money? If we're in a spot right now where maybe we increase budget, to you know, three thousand forty dollars a day compared to the twenty five hundred it was at, and performance dips. We hit a low, we hit a higher target CPA now, so that means overall performance, store profits, all that drop. My big question is, are we losing money? 
If we're not losing money, then cool, don't touch anything. And then start trying to find new winning ads that will drop that NCCPA so you hit target. So I'll just hold the budget. So let's say, for example, we go back to this scenario right here. We increase it to $3,040 a day. We let it ride for a couple of days and we don't hit our target NCCPA, but we're not losing money. Cool. Then I'm going to hold it at this level until I find new winning ads that drop the NCCPA to where we're profitable again. And then we'll, we'll start scaling up based off that rule again. Now, let's say we are losing money. Then I like to ask myself the question is, are we at the hard deck? The hard deck is basically, I got this from aviation because I'm a big aviation nerd myself, where a plane cannot fly below a certain level. Like they have full range to fly between this level, but they can never go below like 10,000 feet, for example. And the hard deck will always change depending on the like environment, location, and air restrictions. So the person in the little tower at the airport will say, hey, you know, the hard deck is, let's say, for example, 10,000 feet. So my question is, maybe we're at 30,000 feet right now and the hard deck's 10,000 feet. So we have permission to scale down from 30,000 to 10,000 on our own with no issues at all. So we're not at the hard deck, cool, decreased budget by 20%. Now, if we are at the hard deck, we're at the 10,000 feet, then we're not gonna touch budget. And if we are at the hard deck, then yes, then just hold budget. Yes, we're losing money, but I don't want to drop budget too far back because then what's going to happen is to make it even harder for us to find new winning ads because we have such low data coming into the business. And again, the hard deck will be different for everyone. It's kind of a calculation between like the amount of money in the bank, what you're comfortable with spending right now at a loss. Let's say for example, in the beginning, I always tell people in the beginning running Facebook ads, you need to be comfortable losing hundred dollars every day. So spending hundred dollars a day, and you're comfortable with losing it, cool, we will never scale below $100 a day, and we're only increasing spend from there if we find new winning ads. Maybe you scale up to a couple thousand dollars a day, and your new hard deck is $1,000 a day. Hey, I'm willing to spend $1,000 a day at Facebook ads, we're a complete loss because we've scaled up so much, and we don't wanna scale all the way down to $200 a day, for example, and then we lose a lot of the work we've made right there. So if we are at the hard deck, yes, hold budget, start finding new winning ads, and then the SOP is complete. If we are, if we're not at the hard deck, cool, decrease bit budget by 20% and start finding new winning ads. So both of them rely on that new winning ads scenario right there. And then again, comes back to, you know, everything starts back over again. So this is the scaling protocol we use specifically for Shopify stores in 2024. Again, I've tested a ton of stuff over the last four years bid caps, cost caps, duplication of campaigns, like all of that stuff. This has been the most consistent one for us. And if you look at like 20% a day over a 30 day period of time, like literally if you take like $100 a day of spend and increase it by 20% every day for 30 days, it comes out to like $22,000 a day in ad spend. So yes, it may seem small in the beginning, but we're playing the long game of months and years. We're not playing the game of, Hey, I found a new winning ad on $10 a day today. Let me go throw $100 at it tomorrow. It's like, that's not our game. We're patient and we're looking for macro movements over months and years. We're not looking for short-term gains because everyone I know that does these short-term gains or short-term scaling strategies of, oh, I found a winning ad at $10 a day. I do pay it to $100 a day. It works for like two days for them and then they see performance dip and they turn off their account. because they're like, oh, they're working on $100 a day. It's like, for us, we're looking at macro trends. We're looking at longer-term, stable, consistent growth growth month over month. And this is why we do this for our clients and what we see the best success with. So make sure to like button, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you're interested in me running your Facebook ads, we specifically work with Shopify stores doing at least $100,000 a month in revenue who want to scale to seven figures a month. We've got four stores scale to that and we'd love to help you become the next one. Click the link below to have Nick Terry run your Facebook ads. And if you want me to mentor you because you're not doing 100K a month in revenue, but you're doing at least a $10,000 a month or more, then click the link below to have Nick Terry mentor you. And if you're doing less than $10,000 a month and you want the exact systems and strategies we use to create winning creatives at scale, then click the link below to Nick's Facebook ads course. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a good rest of y'all day. Peace out.